Hi, this is Mark with Right Wing Trading, um, uh, and this is our evening newsletter, um, starting with this disclaimer uh, that all signals and trading opportunities that we provide are, are for educational demonstration purposes only. Uh, that we should under, uh, everyone should understand that participating in the, in the markets is, involves substantial risk and that a person can lose a substantial amount of money. Always carefully consider your financial position prior to trading and never risk more than you can afford to lose. Now, today was a pretty negative day in the markets. Um, a lot of red uh, across all my watch list uh, on my tickers. And what you really never hear anybody talk about um, is holding a small basket of, a, of options positions um, and, and hedging them. So you really have the opportunity to make money in both directions, holding stocks to the downside with a really poor relative strength and holding stocks to the upside with really powerful relative strength. Now today, um, that played out really well for us. Now to the upside, uh, we have Hilton Hotels. Now Hilton Hotels uh, made a 52-week high uh, at 49 um, on 149.04. Um, it closed right around $147.92. Since we purchased this option spread, uh, we're up $17 on the spread, and we're looking for more. So uh, why did Hilton Hotels go up? It reported earnings, and earnings were lackluster. Um, but what one could see, if you really honed down um, into the numbers, is that business travel is on the rise and that Ford guidance for Hilton Hotels was very upbeat. And that, send the, and that sent the stock up. It should send the stock up even more to, tomorrow where we may have the opportunity to close the trade. Uh, we made significant profit on Hilton Hotels to the upside. To the downside, we had Twitter. Now we've been holding um, a bearish position on Twitter for quite a, quite a while, maybe about 10 days, it just hasn't, hadn't given up the ghost. And I was talking to a really good friend of mine last night, um, and I said to him, you know what, with, with the smallest push, Twitter is simply going to totally collapse to the downside. And that's what happened today, down 10%. Um, we really profited big time from our Twitter position to the downside and our Hilton Hotel position to the upside. Why did I short Hilton? I'm sorry, uh, Twitter? Well, social media stocks in general are getting really hammered. Facebook is way underperforming. Um, Pinterest uh, really got hammered. Um, and overall, um, revenue for advertising is down. Um, so I, I, I just think it was a matter of time um, before we, we saw Twitter take a real battering to the downside. Now I think it's got a lot more to the downside left. Now I might consider closing the position if Twitter hits about $50 a share. Uh, we'd be, we would be up so much that I'd want to take it off the table. But this is the right way to trade options. You don't sit and hold one position. You hold a small basket of positions, and you hold a hedged portfolio of options positions. This is the way I've been trading my options for over a decade. This is the way the options portfolio is set up, and this is really why we do so well. No tricks, no gimmicks, just really fundamentals to drive our equity curve to the upside, irrespective of the direction that the market takes. So have a wonderful evening, everyone, and I look forward to talking with you tomorrow.